Welcome to Kookaburra. This is where the iconic Kookaburra turf ball for test cricket is made. Let's go on a journey and see how it all happens. So this is part one in the process to make a Kookaburra turf ball that's used in test cricket. The leather comes wet and dyed that famous red from the tannery and here we dry it out. So we pin it up on these boards and put in these huge dryers to dry the leather out. Then we store all the leather in this space here. From there we grade the leather. So when we talk about grading the leather we mean looking through it at this early stage for imperfections, for thickness of the leather and then deciding whether that leather will go into production for a test cricket ball or whether it might go into a junior cricket ball. So we looked at the leather, now what goes inside the Kookaburra cricket ball. We, uh, we bake together a cork and rubber compound, put it in the oven and it comes out like this. Then we create our five layer quilted centre which is what we're synonymous with with our cricket balls, with our turf cricket balls. That includes five layers of cork and, rub and twine that ends up looking like this. So when it's like this, we're now ready to put it together and inside the leather. The sheets of leather are then taken and cut into smaller pieces. We take these smaller pieces and create spheres for the ball. So there's two for each half sphere, making up a four piece ball. So now we have two halves of a ball ready to go and meet its core. This is perhaps the most important part of the process where we hand stitch the closing seam for Kookaburra balls. Every ball used in test cricket, every Kookaburra ball used in test cricket is hand stitched here to finish it off. Um, these craftsmen have gone through and been here for many years so every test ball has gone through their hands. So the lacquer is on the ball and we're at the final process. When we make a Kookaburra turf ball, we want a ball that has seam and swing early, is good for the spinners later as it gets older, but also allows the batsman to make runs. Final process, stamping the ball. The ball is now ready for the bowler's hand in a test match.